they sell out so quickly you really have to set like a timer that's what i did a lot of people say that there's a lot of fabric here Hello, hello. Recently, Navigation just had another launch. I live in Canada, so I feel like the shipping was a bit longer for me, especially with everything going on in the world, which is totally understandable. But yeah, I've been seeing a lot of people have been receiving their items, and I actually received mine a couple days ago. Let's give a little rundown, because this is the first time I've ever bought in from Navigation, and if you're interested in purchasing something from their next launch or from Poshmark or well, Poshmark's different, I guess. They have their own shipping policies, but you know, you might want a good timeline because these are things that I wanted to know when I was buying from them for the first time. This particular launch was live on April 11th, uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time. I think about that one. Immediately after I purchased the items, it sent me a confirmation email. Initially, they said that they would hold items in your cart for up to five minutes um, so you weren't having to feel pressure to quickly check out and maybe not get all the items that you wanted but unfortunately just to the amount of volume on their website it wasn't possible I mean the website would probably crash I had a couple things in my cart by the time I was ready to check out um, they were sold out already so people had their eye on specific items and they just bought those individually it was $48 per leg American and then the Allure bra was only 24 American that is impressive you know what I mean obviously there is a conversion rate for me because I'm in Canada but I'm gonna say that's not bad I've heard reviews that people have really been hit hard on the duties which was $40 for me um, I would say but the conversion rate, the duties, yeah, it does kind of add up. But in general, like the leggings are pretty inexpensive, I would say, for the quality that you'll be getting. Yeah, so in total, it came out to 130 US dollars, which in translation, I think comes up to like 180 Canadian, I believe. I have to look that up. And then $40 on duty. So if you really are invested into the brand, totally worth it. It's kind of like a pair of Lululemon pants or Alphalete does the same thing because they're an American brand and I don't, I don't know if there's duties though. <laughs> Ooh, this is so nice. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me give you a full body. So right off of the bat, the quality of the material is so soft. Definitely a nice brushed material. Insane. I, I'm so impressed with the quality of the material. <laughs> and, if you, and if you watched my last video, which I will link here and in, in the um, description, a lot of people say that there's a lot of fabric here. You need to ride it up your butt where the fabric goes <laughs> but then you kind of get stuck with a camel and you know I don't mind the one camel I don't mind this this kind of I don't know I think it kind of accentuates the hips no issues on my part um, but initially when you hike it up your booty hole you do get well, it hikes up everywhere obviously so what I found really helped and maybe it will help you is moving the crease to the side of your legs. Yeah, so that's what I would suggest. Just moving it over to the side if you don't mind the one camel. Of course, I feel like you just should know off the bat that if you don't like this look, this might not be the right legging for you because even Ashley Jordan, the CEO of this whole brand, she gets this all the time and she's not afraid to flaunt it. I don't really care. Like I said, personally, like, I don't mind it. Like, I don't know. But the fabric is just so soft. And the bra, oh, it is so soft. I don't think they're removable. Yeah, I don't feel like a little opening or anything, no. So they're not removable cut pads which I don't mind. Hopefully in the wash they don't like start doing the like 
folding thing that sometimes I end up doing. Um, not particularly this brand, but just in general. I'll leave all of my measurements in the description below so you have a reference for their next launch. I'm so obsessed with the back. Oh, it's so pretty. By the way, this video is not sponsored whatsoever. All of these um, statements are all my own. I don't know, I'm excited to work out in them. This one, <laughs> oddly enough, which I think they're made of the same material, um, is not working for my technique that I did before with the they're really pretty color. It's just really adjusting and maneuvering the crotch area. That would be a concern for a lot of people because when they're in the gym, obviously you don't want to be focusing on your vagina. It kind of distracts you from the actual purpose of being at the gym if you're worried about that. If you don't care, like it doesn't matter. Like personally, I don't care, but yeah, it's really pretty. They're so soft. I can't get over how soft these leggings are. It's incredible. So these particular leggings don't have the contouring on the thigh. They just have the contouring underneath the booty, um, which I like. It's a little bit more subtle. It's quite compressive. You don't have to worry about hiking it up during your workout and you know your leggings falling down. But at the same time, it's not like constricting too much where you feel like you know, that's all you're focusing on. Of course, you don't want that. But I always like a compressive waist. I just feel like it tucks everything in so nicely and it's more practical for the gym. Like, especially if you're doing like a HIIT workout or whatever, right? I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful, maybe for the next launch. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I will get back to you. I wish you all well and thank you for joining me in this video. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in my next one. Next one's pretty fun. I'm excited to share the next one. Someone actually requested it and I am always excited to fulfill anyone's request because, you know, I'm in quarantine. I need ideas. Um, okay, so I'll see you in my next video. Take care, guys. Stay safe.